5.06, one more day. Yes. We've got to oh. get through one more day. <laughs> yes, I walked <laughs> in the building this morning and I think I was literally repeating those words. Just one more day, <laughs> one more day. Yes, we have one more day of storms to handle before we will have a nice and well-deserved little dry stretch of weather just in time for the weekend. Now, of course, today is Cinco de Mayo and we unfortunately do have more storms, but mainly if you're south of Macon, if you're in our northern counties and you've been hit pretty hard the past couple of days, I've received a lot of rainfall. Thankfully, it looks like you are going to get a little bit of a break. Still going to be very warm and humid, though. 79 today, it will more than likely feel more like the low 80s as we head through the afternoon as we start to fuel up and you'll feel all that sticky, wonderful heat and humidity. It's felt summer like the past couple of days. All right, so let's talk about that storm chance. We do have a marginal threat. That's one of five on the scale, mainly if you're making off to the southeast. So today does look to be the most isolated of our severe threats over the past couple of days. Also, we're not looking at any kind of tornado threat today, so both good things. Never good to have a severe threat, but at least it's not going to be a widespread threat like the past couple of days have been. Gusty wind and hail along with the potential for, of course, heavy downpours and frequent lightning. We're looking between around lunchtime and five o'clock. Now this severe threat is thanks to our actual cold front. This is the grand finale. Everyone the past couple of days, we've had a couple of short waves roll through those little bursts of energy that have really packed a punch. Now today we're finally going to have that cold front move through the area. It's currently situated about here across the southeast. All the storm activity along the Gulf Coast for us. We just had a few showers very early this morning, so the roads are a little bit wet this morning. Do keep that in mind. We had plenty of rain roll through last night as well. So since the sun hasn't come up yet, we haven't had anything to evaporate any of that water. If you're heading out anytime soon, just be sure to be extra careful on the roads as we head through the next couple of hours. Maybe just a couple of light showers out there. We won't introduce a chance for thunderstorms until we head into the heat of the day. So once we go past lunchtime, we'll have enough fuel for thunderstorms. And today's rain chance obviously does not look as crazy as the past couple of days, for lack of better words. Our threat today is isolated at best. So let's talk about what the RPM has to say. Cold front's going to start to push across the southeast. Most of the rain and storm activity, any kind of severe threat, and the latest RPM looking even better. But our rain and storm threat should be from Macon points off to the southeast. Behind Behind our front, high pressure is going to filter in. That's going to bring in slightly cooler and drier air. So all that humidity that I'm sure everyone has been just enjoying the past couple of days on top of our severe threat, that is going to go down. We will definitely have a nicer end to the work week, both humidity wise and temperature wise. Check this out. Today will be near 80, upper 70s tomorrow, low 70s on Friday. Friday, if you do not have any outdoor plans, I know it's first Friday in Macon, so get out and enjoy it. Find something to do. It's going to be beautiful and we will stay dry through the weekend, but notice temperatures will quickly head right back into the mid 80s for Mother's Day, which is on Sunday. Your seven day forecast looks like this. Rain and storms possible today. Maybe one or two strong storms were dry through Sunday and we'll bring back rain chances to kick off next week.